After that, we want to sew this lining. I will use this segment sewing tool for sewing the shoulder. And then we want to sew this back next here and the sleeve, then the dots, as well as the side and the sleeve cap. Simply switch the tool to free sewing tool and I'm going to begin sewing the sleeve cap to the armhole. Be sure to press on shift here when you sew with the free sewing tool. Then I'm going to sew right here for the side seam. Once again, I'm still using free sewing tool. And let's see if I sew this part. I have not yet sewed the back side of the dot and also the back side here. I'm going to use free sewing tool. And right here, I'm going to use this segment sewing tool here for sewing the color. So next we want to sew right here. This is important, okay? Before we simulate, we want to sew right here. And we want to change that sewing to turn. Come to the property editor and then change that to turn. And right here, we want to sew the notches. And once again, we want to change that to turn. And the front. And right here. And after that, let's strengthen this pattern here. And we want to change the shrinkage here. So come to the property editor and scroll down. We want to change the shrinkage width to 95 for now. And then press return enter on the keyboard. Let's hide the avatar here. And I'm going to simulate. I'm going to stop the simulation for now. Change that to 98. And then simulate one more time. I'm going to stop the simulation. So next we want to actually change the sewing to turn. Somehow it didn't do it. So simulate one more time. And now it is. So the jacket actually looked pretty good, guys. Right? Let's stop the simulation and change the tool to transform pattern tool so it's easy for us to see. 